Hey loves, it's Mistress Valerie here once again. Happy Tuesday. I apologize for having this a day late. Um, I did try to film an episode last night and be on time, but it was not my best work as I had a pounding headache, had had a really shitty day, was in a really shitty mood. And so I decided to scrap it and try again today. Uh, because I don't, I don't want to put up subpar work. Um, you know, you all believe in me and I believe in you. and You're all worth a lot more than me putting up crap. So, if it's a day late, but better quality, that's what we're going to do. So, again, I apologize, but, you know, life happens. Um, that being said, yeah, yesterday was so shitty. I had a fight with my roommate. Um, it's just a lot of weird shit going on there. And I have some other difficulties, but they'll sort themselves out. It's going to be okay. So, you know, and I'm just grateful I'm here talking to you now. You know, that's something to always look forward to. So cheers to that. And, you know, I had, I had an amazing weekend. I was, uh, I was with my girlfriend over the weekend and we had a really beautiful time together. It's really, really good. <laughs> you can see me smile and I don't smile very often. Thinking of the weekend makes me smile. <laughs> so, but that's actually, um, that's actually what I'm here to talk to you about this week is that she is one of two girlfriends that I have. I'm, in a, I'm polyamorous, and I know this makes you very uncomfortable, some of you very uncomfortable, as we live in a very monogamous society, monogamous, marriage-driven society, and, you know, understand this is not going to be any commentary on monogamy or marriage, I mean, I think both are beautiful. You know, a lot of you are monogamous, a lot of you have the goal of getting married to one person for the rest of your lives, and that's great. You know what? I hope that works out for you. I see you and I love you. But as this is the Mistress Valerie show, I'm constantly talking about things that people might not be comfortable with, like BDSM and porn, and we'll just put polyamory right up there. <laughs> You know, it's, uh, I just like to bring awareness of these things and realize they're not that scary you know, or taboo. They're just different, you know? It's just a different lifestyle, you know, and that's just the way it is. You know, it's okay. So, yeah, I have two girlfriends. They both know about each other. Um, they're both poly as well. You know, and it's just, it's, it's great. It's like, you know... Both of them fill certain parts of me, just as I fill certain parts of them, and you know, other people in their lives might fill other parts. Uh, just to give you an example, I mean, my girlfriend I spent the weekend with. I mean, she's very, she's very caring. She's very soft. She's very kind and nurturing. And you know, we we have great conversations, and we, you know, we we geek out on a lot of things, you know, we're both nerds, and it's so awesome, and, you know, my other girlfriend is in the sex worker industry, and, you know, she, uh, she's more aggressive and challenges me, even when I don't want to be challenged, to be a better person, and that's a beautiful thing, and so together, it's like, I'm very happy, I'm very happy, and I, I hope I, I make both of them happy, and, um, if, both of them are watching right now, wondering what the fuck I'm going on about. <laughs> both of you, I really care about you, and I thank you both for being in my life. You know, you both mean a lot to me, and, you know, we're both right here. <laughs> and, of course, the rest of you, I care very much about the rest of you, too. Like I say every week, I see you and I love you. So, yeah, I mean, interesting enough, I used to not be into polyamory. I used to be strictly monogamous because, you know, I was raised, you know, you 
find you you get married to one person, you be in a relationship with one person, you get involved with one person, and again, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. It just is not who I am, and I had unlearned that when I started learning more about myself. And I'm still learning. I'm still now that I'm actually in a polyamory situation. I'm unlearning so much stuff, and it's beautiful. This is a new. This is a new life lesson for me. And I'm grateful. You know, it's interesting. I look at myself five years ago and now. And I was with my shrink the other day. We we're getting the paperwork and all the process going for SRS. I'm having the big surgery soon. You know, it's... I was telling him, I'm like, five years ago, the life I'm living now in 2017... All the way back in 2012, I could have only dreamed of this life. The idea of getting ready for surgery, of being in relationships, of having stable work, and, you know, actually succeeding in transition and having friends. I mean, all of that seemed impossible back then. You now, I, I was put in a psych ward in 2012. I was homeless for a long time. I was at that awkward stage of transition where, I mean, it was clear I was transitioning to female, but I still looked like a dude in a dress and got made fun of and misgendered and beat up everywhere I went, even in San Francisco. It was hard. But here I am now, and I find myself reaching out to that girl back in 2012, being like, you got this, girl. You got this. It's going to be okay. And that's why I remember with shit I go through now, it's going to be okay. So, yeah, that's what's going on. Um, I'm actually looking to get back into the music scene. Um, I've talked about a lot in some of these episodes, but I've actually been retired for quite a while, and I miss it. I was watching, I was watching um, the Lady Gaga documentary on Netflix, and because I really love Lady Gaga's work and, and whatnot. Um, God, I listen to the Born This Way album all the time. Um, you know, I was watching that documentary, you know, it's a hell of a story, and it really just gave me the feels, you know, inspired me to try to get back into music. And so I was playing my cello today, and it just felt so right. So I'm gonna get back into it, it's gonna be hard. I'm always busy and you know the music scene's kind of hard for to break into especially if you're alternative and you know in my case I'm trans and a sex work yeah it's it, it can be judgmental but you know what I let that stop me once before I can't do it again so yeah wish me luck on that um, oh, I'm starting a new vanilla job tomorrow. I'm going to be working at Good Vibrations, selling sex toys. I'm kind of excited about that. Um, yeah. Other than that, you know, be just trucking along. I'm drinking my wine, like as I do every week. I really should have a sponsorship from Barefoot by now. They get free advertising for me on these shows because I'm always getting drunk right before your eyes. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, that's that's what's going on. You know, I'm doing okay. Sans the roommate drama, I'm doing okay. Um, just here talking about polyamory because. We all come from different backgrounds and lifestyles, cultures, values, viewpoints, but we're all valid. You gotta remember that we're all valid. The only time we're not valid is when we try to take away someone else's validity. That kind of mentality is not valid. Mm. So, that being said, I, you're all valid to me. Like I say every single week, and I've said a few times already, I see you and I love you. You know, you ever want to reach out with anything, just comment below. Email me at tsvaleriepage, P-A-I-G-E, at gmail.com. Let's, let's talk.
On that note, I'm going to finish this wine, maybe play some more cello. Enjoy my life. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying yours. We'll see you next week, hopefully on time. Bye-bye. <laughs>